What's up, you guys? I just looked at my subscribers and I realized that I have 700. And I swear, just a week and a half ago, I had 600. So this is probably the quickest gain of 100 subscribers for me in that I'll probably ever get. It was amazing. But uh, I just want to say thank you guys to all of you who are subscribed to me and thank you to everyone who's going to subscribe to me after this video. Once I reach 1,000 followers, I will be doing another giveaway. So yeah, heads up for that. But anyway, like I said, thanks to you guys that are subscribed to me and thanks to everyone that's going to subscribe to me after this video. So yesterday I uploaded a video basically reviewing episodes 476 and 477 of Naruto Shibuden, where pretty much all that happened was Naruto and Sasuke's fight. But what I really didn't say much of is what I actually thought about the fight. And honestly, I just want to say that the fight was amazing. It was done so well that it almost, in my opinion, puts the manga to shame. And the reason I say that is because there was a whole lot of added combat and combat is great in the manga, but there's no way that it can be as detailed as it is when you're watching it on screen. And that's why I always say to manga readers, especially if it's an action anime, you might as well watch the anime too. Give it a shot because the fight scenes and just seeing it visually is so much better than just reading. And the reason I can say that is because I also read the manga to a lot of shows that I watch, which is why, especially action, I want to check out the shows as well, just to see how much better it can be executed when you're seeing it on screen. And I will be honest, I was not disappointed whatsoever. Now, I know a lot of people were saying that Sasuke seemed to be OP in the fight, which that means overpowerful for those of you who don't know. But um, a lot of people were wondering why they made him look so much stronger than Naruto and why Naruto was taking so many hits. And as you all know, Naruto doesn't want to kill Sasuke. Sasuke was fighting to kill. And that's why I think that Naruto was taking more hits. He was holding back. He was restraining himself. And it wasn't until halfway through the fight that we saw he finally got serious, which was when Sasuke called him out on it. But overall, yes, Naruto did take a whole lot more hits than Sasuke, but I'm a fanboy of both of the characters. Naruto is one of my favorite characters. Sasuke is my most favorite character in anime, period. But one thing I'm not going to do is fanboy over another character and say one was better than the other, because we all know as the protagonist, Naruto is probably stronger than Sasuke. I'm not saying that for sure. I don't want anyone getting mad about that, but um, that's just how it usually is. The protagonist is usually stronger than the antagonist, but in this fight, we really didn't know because it seemed like they were somewhat evenly matched after Naruto got serious, but once again, Sasuke was fighting with everything he had. Naruto wasn't, so we don't really know what would have happened if Naruto fought full strength. Overall, I'm not really going to get into it because if you want to know what happened during the fight, you can check out my previous video. But um, I will say that it was great. Studio Periot did their thing with this one. And a lot of people were doubting them. And I don't know why. I was real optimistic about it. I knew the moment they put out that poster that said the final battle was coming that they were going to put their all into it. I didn't have a doubt in my mind because... While there are some pretty bad animation flaws in Naruto, I mean, some of the episodes where the animation is bad is filler anyway, which I don't even watch. And in my opinion, I haven't watched an episode of canon material where the animation for Naruto Shibuden has been bad in a long time. So I didn't think that they were going to do bad at all. And I don't know why people thought that, but... It was great in my opinion, and if you watched it, it seemed to me like the animation as the fight progressed continued to get better and better and better and better, and it was just awesome, and if you guys haven't checked it out yet, I highly recommend that you guys go watch episodes 476 and 477 because it's just, it's as good as Naruto gets, man, and it's coming to a conclusion, and if it's one of your favorite animes, whether you read the manga when it came out last November and ended all of it, still, man, there, there's nothing better than seeing it visually. And that's why I'm constantly saying I highly recommend everyone go watch it. But my thoughts on the fight, definitely a 
20 out of 10. It was amazing. And I'm a big Naruto fan, but that's not me being biased. I can say that about any anime. And honestly, even if you're not a fan of the series Naruto whatsoever, it was just that great to watch. I feel like if you're just someone who likes action anime, you'd still be able to enjoy the fight just watching it and not even knowing the characters. And that's how well I think that they did it. It was just stunning and everything. A plus, 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 plus. So, yeah, with that said, um, I'm not going to harp on it. Uh, I hope you guys like this video. And if you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to give me a subscribe to my channel. As I said, I am doing a giveaway at 1,000 subscribers. So, yeah, keep that in mind. And um, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.